future University of Sterling student. My name is Tiffany Harrison and I am a 2009 study abroad alumna of the Sterling Scotland program. So I'm sure as you're getting ready to leave the country out on your own study abroad adventure, you might be feeling a bit of last minute anxiety or worry about the decision you've made to leave everything familiar behind. Okay, first things first, this is completely natural and you are not alone in it. The anxiety, the stress, the last minute jitters are completely natural and all part of the process. Whether it's your first time leaving the country, your first time leaving home for an extended amount of time, or even if you're already an experienced traveler, we all have the moments of doubt. And that's why I'm here to talk with you. After having lived and went to the University of Stirling for a full year, I learned a lot about what it has to offer and how much you're actually going to take away from the education and the experiences there. To help you address those last minute questions, concerns, and doubts that you might have before you get to the airport, I pulled together a few tips on making the most of your time at Sterling. So without further ado, here's some advice from a Scotland obsessed, travel driven, study abroad returnee. Or you can just call me Tiffany. First of all, you want to make sure that you always bring extra copies of your important documents. This includes student visa paperwork, bank notices, emergency contact info, and anything else that your host institution and study abroad organization have reiterated to you to bring. You really don't want to be that student stuck in customs, especially when you're trying to make it on time to another flight. To avoid this altogether, pack the documents in each item of the luggage. Less might be more when it comes to packing clothing, but this definitely doesn't apply when it comes to your documents. One of the most, most important things you're going to need to plan on in advance is the currency exchange. Before you leave your home country, keep tabs on what the rates are like so that you won't be taken by surprise when you arrive. Budgeting is also very important since living in the UK can be really expensive. Keep this in mind early on in your planning. As far as packing for Stirling, it's going to depend on what time of year you're going and for how long. Unlike the rest of Scotland, Stirling is set at an elevation so that it receives the warm Gulf breezes, making the weather a bit more temperate. Definitely go for the jeans over the shorts if you're traveling in the fall and winter, and bring clothes that are good for layering. The weather patterns change dramatically throughout the day in Stirling, and it's always good to be prepared. Don't worry if you're not bringing enough, though. There are shops aplenty in Stirling to help you stock up. So what about Stirling itself? Well, it's a place where history is still deeply felt and where modern advancements are tempered by a healthy respect for the land. There is a castle on campus you can actually take classes in, plenty of sports and clubs to get involved with, and with a great number of other international students on campus, there are plenty of new friends to be made. Now, it may be a smaller sized city than, say, Edinburgh or Glasgow, but there are still famous sites like Stirling Castle, the William Wallace Monument, and Stirling Bridge to see. Combine this with the student atmosphere and plethora of nightlife activities and you'll be feeling at home in no time at all. If you haven't decided yet where to live in Stirling, you'll be happy to know that there are a few different options. From the student dorms to the cabin-like chalets and the off-campus housing, Stirling makes accommodations for every type of student. If you prefer more of a local atmosphere, consider the off-campus housing, which is situated near the city center. Or maybe you prefer living with students on campus. Either way, both are great choices, so don't be afraid to try one or the other. As for the academics, the best advice I can give to any student is to take advantage of the International Student Office. They have the best advisor there or who are completely willing to help you adjust to the cultural changes and give you a better idea about ideal study habits, how to understand the different grading system, and how to generally make the most of your education there. As a study abroad student, you'll have a variety of options in what kind of classes to take. Whether you're meeting requirements for a major, minor, or elective credit, Sterling offers something for everyone. As an American student, the amount of time spent outside the classroom doing independent work and study can definitely take some getting used to, but there will be plenty of advisors, professors, and even peers to help you in adjusting. And with that, I hope that my advice has given you a better idea of what living and studying in Sterling, Scotland might be like. I know I probably say it way too often, but study abroad will change your perspective about everything, and it will give you a deeper appreciation for education and study abroad opportunities, just as it did for me. There will always be the doubts and worries, but never forget to always keep an open mind to every experience. As my study abroad advisors were fond of saying, it's not wrong, it's not right, it's just different. These are words to live by, and I hope that you take them to heart as you set forth on your own study abroad adventure. Until then, Happy traveling!